people who worked with Larry considered him charming and a wheeler dealer, albeit with a lazy streak, preferring drinking late in nightclubs to work, but he benefited nevertheless from a run up in the garment company's stock. In the early 1990s, he was involved in an acquisition by MWE, the garment company in which he owned a minority stake, of a Canadian technology firm. The deal overvalued the target firm, and Larry arranged for some of the excess cash to go into an offshore bank account he controlled. Using such accounts, often owned by anonymous shell companies set up in places like the British Virgin Islands, was common for Malaysian companies at the time. The younger Lowe's learned from their father about this world of offshore finance, and Mei Lin, Lowe's sister, became a lawyer with an expertise in offshore vehicles. When he uncovered that Larry had funneled off the money, the owner of MWE was furious and, not long after, Larry sold his stake in the company. But there was a silver lining. The increase in MWE's stock price in the 1990s had made the Lowe family millionaires many times over. Flush with cash, Larry, now in his 40s, indulged his desire to party. For one yacht party, he arranged for Swedish models to fly into Penang, the kind of arrangement for which his son later would be known. The family was a big fish in a small pond and acting the part. Larry drove around town in a Lexus and was a member of the Penang Club, an exclusive sports club founded by the British in 1868 and whose members included well-known business families and politicians from the island. The younger Lowe was a keen swimmer, often doing laps on Sundays in the pool by the ocean before eating a Chinese dinner with his family. But Larry saw all this as parochial, and he had ambitions to raise his family's social standing. So, in 1994, when Lowe was 13, his father moved him out of the local education system to Uplands, an international school that rich Penangites chose to prepare their children for boarding school in Britain. Many elite Malaysians had gotten their education in the former colonial power, and it was still the country of choice for overseas schooling. Larry Lowe chose to put down roots in England. Around this time, developers of a new gated community in London's posh South Kensington neighborhood began to advertise in Malaysia.